Hi guys, welcome to the little wood shop again. So this week was a haphazard week. The main thing you'll see me do is help out a friend with a table that's three legs broke off that I fixed for him that I helped him with. He battled a bit with it and I hope the customer is happy with that job. It's not a very good table, it's all um, veneered MDF. So yeah, it's one of those jobs you just help out the friend. If it was all solid wood and everything, then I think it would be more satisfying. But it was a good job. And uh, as you'll see, I used 180 more um, coach bolts to do that. And then the rest, we made some leeway on the big large table. I'll show you now what the table looks like. And uh, quite proud of that one. Then I made for Sasha some groom buddies and I'm busy now here on the table making some name boards for the stables again for Sasha. The child's business is picking up and she's doing quite well with it. So let me show you quickly. So guys you've seen the legs being made of this table. So yesterday a very good friend of mine and he must be a very good friend because he borrowed me his um, domino to put, we've put dominoes there and then the bottom there and also on the bottom there, that side and on the cross brace that side. We ran out of dominoes and we needed some more so we just made out, we just cut some dominoes out of red oak and routed the corners and that works a job. So this table as you know is 4 meters long, at the moment the base, is base this base you see here, is 3.3 meters and it's going to be one very very big table. We still have to laminate all the red oak lying there on the wood rack to make up the top. There I'm busy making for Sasha some boards, main boards for the stables. I'm first putting the logos on. They end up looking something like that. Then I'll put the names on the rest. There on that end I made some groom buddies again for Sasha. And uh, now you'll see the table we're busy with. Enjoy! Hi guys. So a quick little project we have to help a friend with. Is this old dilapidated dining room table. It's really a cheap made table. But what happened is the legs broke off. Somebody tried to fix it and they put metal brackets in it. They put screws from the sides into it. I'll show you now in more detail. But what's going to happen is we're going to replace the legs for him. And uh, let me show you how I'm planning on doing that. So what these guys have done is they wanted to put big dowels in here and then into the legs and I think I'm going to continue with that but just line them up properly they are at the moment not lined up at all for example this leg on this side the leg is standing absolutely off center so I'm going to plug the holes in here put little nails in the centers where I want them I'll show you that how I do it and then I want to put some coach bolts which is 180 millimeters long from this side right through to this side into the leg little bit of a countersink to get it through here and then that's going to be my clamps because the legs are very shall we say no straight corners or anything clamping is going to be a problem so I'm going to use the coach bolts as clamps and then of course lots of reinforcement quickly going to turn some 19.5 millimeter dowels to plug the holes with just take some bigger dowels and just bring it down a little bit
guys, so just to bring you up to date, I plugged all the holes with some 19.5 millimeter dowels, glued them in there, as well as in the legs, plugged all of that, and then I just took some filler, wood filler, and plugged all the holes that they did, screws in from the sides, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see, they got nails in here, everything, so I got rid of all of that, on the bobbin sander, I just then sanded the curve nice, so that when we put it down, it lies nice and flat on the corners. Still lots of sanding to do, just waiting for the filler to dry. I bought a 6mm long drill bit, 400mm long, that I'm going to drill from this side right through to the other side, and then as well here, and I'm going to put in some 180 more coach screws. Right through, sink them and then plug the hole again into the leg on this side as it goes in here. I'm also going to add then two dowels on each leg just for some extra support. But first, let me get this holes drilled for the coach screws. So guys, with this elaborate clamp setup, I've now clamped my leg where I want it, making sure that the line of the leg and the line of the big leg lines up exactly. And then my major point that I want to make sure of is that the top of this leg to the base of the top is the same as the other leg on the other side. And then I'll make sure this one and the other one on this side is exactly the same height. But it's clamped now, now I'm gonna put my drill through the hole that I drilled to make my mark on my leg where I want to drill it to accept then the coach bolt that I'm gonna put through that's 180 millimeters long. I hope that makes sense. So guys, that's the coach bolts now in. And they are actually quite plenty strong. If I really wiggle it, I can move it but there's no glue, no dowels yet. So I'm gonna put two dowels on this side and on that side into the leg just for some extra insurance and then glue the whole lot up. Before I glue anything up while well, I got the legs off now when I put the dowels in I'll do the sanding and some finishing so that I don't have to battle there in the little corners and everywhere to finish up. But I think the coach bolts does the trick. So guys, just to give you an idea, that's how far the coach bolts go into the legs. So I think that is plenty. And just as an update on Sasha as well, she f survived the fall of last week. A little bit of a concussion and a broken wrist, but uh, she's all fine again. But yes, now I'm going to mark quickly where I'm going to put the dowels and uh, fix them finally. So guys, the way I do the, my dowels now that I'm gonna put in there, is I just draw small little two millimeter holes, cut the little nail head off, put it in there so that they just protrude a little bit, put it on its side, put the bolt in, and let the bolt pull it into its place, and that marks then my two spots where I put my dowels. I hope that makes sense. I'm not the best of best at explaining, but that's basically the way I do it. Can you see the two nails? I've put them approximately close to where the old dowels was, so hopefully we can line it up nicely that way. This one is done and it worked out perfectly. So I'm going to loosen that, then glue and sand and everything, and then. But I just want to get these dowels done first. So guys, that's now both of them fitted with two dowels each. 
20 mil dowels like this, actually 19.5 I turned them. They are very sturdy, they're not glued yet, they just in. So now I'm going to loosen everything again. Sand all the marks and filler holes and then give it a final glue up and then we've got one left on the other side. Morning guys, welcome to like a chilly day here in the Free State. So that's just the table now done. My color matching on the plugs that I made didn't get so well, they're not so perfect. But I think it's good enough for a table with an MDF top. So the legs is on, they're very very sturdy and strong. And I'm waiting for the customer to come collect it. Another job I just started with is this old office desk for a good friend of mine. So I just give, gave it a quick sand to see what we got and what we're dealing with. And uh, yes, there's some burn marks and uh, lots of deep scratches. But that I'll get out. I'll keep on sanding and keep you up to date on this one. So I've sanded now with 100 grit sandpaper, but there's still a lot of scratch marks everywhere and there's a few coffee rings don't know if you can see that in the picture the coffee rings everywhere there's another one there and the burn marks is almost out i don't know if it's burn marks maybe might be ink or something that's almost out but this is actually one of those hidden gems it looks to me like it can be seligna it's definitely not kia if you have any suggestions please but so far, it looks to me like Seligna. But this is actually going to be a very, very beautiful top. The camera doesn't do it justice. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this week's video. It was a bit running around. Next week we'll definitely continue with the top on the big oak table and also on the restoration of the office desk. And then, yes, we're going to be busy. I hope to finish all Sasha's stuff now quickly today. It's been raining yesterday and today non-stop. I have to backwash my pool. My pool is running over. So it's been a lot of rain in the last few days so guys please share and subscribe it means a lot to the channel and most of all stay healthy stay safe